Baidu has quietly but nicely has just dropped this thinking variant of their Ernie 4.5 vision language model. I have been covering these Ernie models for quite a long time and they always are very impressive. The evolution is steady, there is nothing really very fancy about but it is a very solid model series and that is what I expect from this new thinking variant which looks quite impressive. The model represents a significant leap forwarded multimodal AI and that is what we are going to test out in this video after getting it installed locally. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Now, this model is a mixture of expert model. The size is just over 28 billion, but only 3 billion parameters are active and the performance on various benchmarks, including multi-step visual reasoning, stem problem solving, fine-grained image understanding, and video event localization is really, really very impressive. The model's unique thinking with image feature allows it to zoom, search, and interpret images much like a human observer and that is very interesting and that captures intricate details and it handles complex visual data in that way. Let me quickly take you to my terminal. This is my Ubuntu system. I have one GPU card NVIDIA H100 with 80 GPU of VRAM as the model is already loaded onto my GPU. This is what the VRAM consumption looks like. Just touch over 57 gig of VRAM when it is fully loaded onto the GPU and due to the mixture of expert architecture it consumes less VRAM and despite of the fact that the model size is around 30 gig of VRAM. Okay, now as far as installation is concerned, all you need to do is to just install Torch, Torch Vision and then launch um, the Gradio demo on top of this code. I already have shown how to do that in this previous video. So if you're interested, just check it out. Um, this Ernie X1.1 X or Ernie 4.5. It's the same one. Okay, so let me now do the first test. I'm going to just load an image from my local system and I'm, I have just put in a Gradio interface on top of it. Let me go to my images. Maybe first up, I'm just going to do an OCR on, <clears throat> sorry, I just selected this image which contains a multi-image and I'm going to just type extract the text from the image and identify the languages. Let me run this. And the model is thinking. I will let it run so that you would also see how much does it take. And meanwhile, I'm just going to kick off my VRAM consumption. You see it is just staying around uh, 57 and 58 not more than that I think that is the limit which is quite good it means that you can do the inference on a single GPU let's wait for it to come back and you have to be patient with this model it thinks long hard and you just have to wait because for only this one it took around 14 minutes to come back but if you look at the response, that is actually quite human-like thinking. The reason being is that if you look at this, it is such a good example of cognitive reasoning. And I have already verified most of the words or almost all of the word, words um, in those, you know, this image extractions are good, plus identified the language correctly. But more than that, um, not only it has identified multiple language, but also explains more importantly, the step-by-step -step thought process like a person thinking out loud. It observes, reflects, questions, and even self-corrects, which are really hallmark of a genuine analytical thinking. Um, it has also noticed some of the typos. It has crossed verified interpretation and logically deduces language origins, which really shows that model has been trained linguistically which is quite unique in my humble opinion okay let's try out one more problem next up i'm going to give it this image and i'm asking it to describe the image in detail so this is just a ai generated terrain 
which I believe is a flood prone area. So let's see if what model thinks it should be fun. And meanwhile, let's talk a bit more around the training as I was mentioning earlier. So what they have done, they have done a prolonged mid training phase, which uses a vast corpus of high quality visual language reasoning data. The model has achieved deep semantic alignment between images and text that allowed the model to interpret, analyze and reason across modalities with exceptional precision. And what it has also done, it has integrated multimodal reinforcement learning, which features GSPO and ISPOP techniques, which primarily enhance stability, adaptability during training, while dynamic difficulty sampling ensures optimal learning efficiency. These innovations collectively in training enable the model to perform nuanced tasks such as visual grounding, contextual reasoning, and detailed visual analysis. So you might have noticed that I said mid training. Someone asked a question in another video that what exactly is the difference between mid training, post training or this pre training. So look, pre training is where model learns general knowledge from a vast amount of world data. That is the first step. It is the foundation stage where the model builds its basic intelligence. Then comes mid training, of course. The model is further trained on more specific or high quality data to refine its understanding. Sort of, you know, it is a mezzanine floor. And this stage helps it improve reasoning, accuracy, and alignment between different skills. And then comes the post training where the model is actually fine tuned with feedback and special techniques like uh, SFT, DPO, and all that to make it follow instructions better and on this stage models uh, respond more naturally safely and helpfully to real world user queries and most of the people still wonder as then if mid training is about a specific domain then why not just simply call it a fine tuning the thing is that there is a very nuanced different mid training is still pre training because it is still catering to general purpose data huge data set Whereas in fine tuning, you just take a very specific and small data set and for a specific use case. But mid training is not about a particular use case. It is about still the general world data and that is a large scale specialization. So that is a major difference between these two. And the model has come back with the response meanwhile, and you can see that it is really an outstanding display of human like visual reasoning and narrative composition. If you read, read through it, because the model is not just describing what it sees, it thinks through the image step by step, analyze textures, colors, and spatial relationships exactly like a trained geographer or visual analyst would. It revises its language for precision, refines descriptors for clarity, and organizes its thoughts into a structured logical flow, which mirrors a human writer's drafting process. And the final paragraph reads like a professional field observation showing deep understanding, attention to nuance, and an intuitive sense of visual storytelling. And this whole blend of analytical reasoning and natural expression, I think, makes this model response really feel authentically thoughtful and impressively human. Just read through it. A river of stream with greenish water flows through the dense forest at the top of image, a white line, possibly a survey line, or property boundary. So amazing stuff. So I think Arni has <clears throat> just again thrown it out of the park. Let me know what you think. Again, please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.